Hello, fellow Buddhas on the path to Nirvana. Chapter 12, Self. If a man hold himself dear, let him watch himself carefully. During one at least out of the three watches, a wise man should be watchful. Let each man direct himself first to what is proper. Then let him teach others. Thus a wise man will not suffer. If a man make himself as he teaches others to be, then being himself well subdued, he may subdue others, for one's own self is difficult to subdue. Self is the Lord of self. Who else could be the Lord? With self well subdued, a man finds a Lord such as few can find. The evil done by oneself, self-begotten, self-bred, crushes the foolish as a diamond breaks even a precious stone. He whose wickedness is very great brings himself down to that state where his enemy wishes him to be, as a creeper does with a tree which it surrounds. Bad deeds and deeds hurtful to ourselves are easy to do. What is beneficial and good, that is very difficult to do. The foolish man who scorns the rule of the venerable, of the elect, of the virtuous, and follows a false doctrine, he bears fruit to his own destruction, like the fruits of the Kathar reed. By oneself the evil is done, by oneself one suffers, by oneself evil is left undone, by oneself one is purified. The pure and the impure stand and fall by themselves, and no one can purify another. Let no one forget his own duty for the sake of others. However great, let a man, after he has discerned his own duty, be always attentive to his duty. So let us meditate on chapter 12, the self.